hello friends welcome to my video on flutter where we are going to build this beautiful news app where we will get all the data from a news api so and uh, so this is just a gift so we are getting all the data from a news api in this beautiful app and uh, so let's get started so let me close it and uh, let me open my terminal and uh, and let me write the command to start flutter flutter create news api app okay so it doesn't take much time so and uh, bit, uh, so i'm also telling one thing so i have connected my phone through your uh, scrappy win this software so that it is just mirroring it actually when i'm doing this mobile development i actually generally don't like this simulators simulators make the system very slow even though i have a very powerful system it makes it very slow so i generally prefer this only so mirroring connecting it through usb and showing it so it is much better option so it is created it is very fast actually so news api app i will go i will start it in my code and we don't need this anymore let me take it a bit back yeah it's okay welcome i will close and as always our app starts from here let me increase the font size a bit now it's looking good and uh, so what i'm going to do let me delete everything like this and stateless let's create a stateless my app okay my app is there and then return material app home is home page which we have not created so let's create that again again uh, stateful yeah stateful it will be home page okay yeah, like this home page it will be there and uh, here we will con create a scaffold because the scaffold is one of the main thing which by which you can get a scaffold we want a app bar also app bar here we will have a title text I don't want it two times news app comma stand text text style color colors dot black and then background color is colors dot white okay let me save it and uh, let me run it run without debugging yeah it will take a bit of time so yeah first time it takes a bit of time so what i will do i'll pause the video yeah so it is done and this is our news app it is showing okay okay so let's get ahead and uh, 
what we are going to do we are going to now create a model so to create a model we'll go here and uh, model folder and uh, source model dot dot i will create so uh, uh we are why we are creating a model a model because uh, in model we are going to create a class so it will be easier to pass the json so we will uh, we will get a json from the news api so it will be easier so let me do it after that model Okay, I okay class class source string ID string name source this dot id the constructor this dot name constructor is done and fact free source dot from json map string comma dynamic json okay i am not returning that so it is giving error return source id is JSON ID comma name is JSON name okay now it is not giving any error okay okay so from where did we get this id and the name so where is my firefox okay so news api so this news api not this news api okay so uh, this is the news api through which we got uh, this uh, so uh, i where is so we got it from here this top headlines and all we got it from here okay so uh, you have to get your own api key because i'm not going to provide the api key you have to get your own api key so let's get started okay now let me show one more thing so this is how we we are getting everything from here so a get request will give you give us all these things like author and all so this we are going to get so let me stop it and let me now create a model based on that so again inside the model we are going to create another file known as article model or article model dot dot and uh, here 
we are going to import this thing okay okay so uh, okay so am i recording yeah so actually i'm copy pasting this article model dot dart so you can get it from the github link which i will provide so i'm getting the source model then i am creating an article class so again this source is there string author title description url url to image publish at content so these are the things which we wanted from that uh, api endpoint and then this article is there uh, in that uh, we are I means this is a constructor anyway so we are passing this thing and that factory article so we have to do this from json json like this here also because we are converting it from a json so we are passing the json and then we will return the source as source dot from json json source means source we are getting then uh, json author title as a string so some of them are as a string actually all of them are as a string only so these are the things which we are going to get let me save it okay and then as usual i required the http so i will go to the site what is the site yeah the site is pub dot dev i will go and http i will search and here i will go and installing i will go i need to have this in the dependencies at the same level at de as dependencies so i will go here and pop dot yam yaml i will go and uh, here i have to put it in the dependency level which means not at the sdk level but at the flutter level so here so this is very important because this is a yaml file so this kind of things we have lot in java i done a bit of java it is there so it is at this level okay so it is, is very important or else it will fail and when i do a control s see this command get runs or you have to run it manually so and it installs so this is very good uh, in comparison to npm install which we have in web development i liked it actually so after this now we'll create a services folder okay services folder and then and then here api sir this dot dot file okay here import dot convert we are going to need this soon so dot convert then import package http oh i didn't give this such a ps package http http dot dot h http import so okay this import will do directly because i want to import that article model okay so class api service yeah final and point yeah this is the latest way by which you do api call so if you find some other way in some flutter tutorial that doesn't work nowadays this is the latest way which i am teaching now use api this also might change once you means in the future if you are seeing this video because things change a lot that line also client equal to http dot client 
okay and you have to use a future future list article get article and it will be a async function now from where we will get this article let me do this and it will auto import from the article model so this okay so after this final query parameter final query parameters you have to give and inside this uh, so this is the final query parameter which are the other things which came after this country us category categorical business so these are the things which it is there so country is us and category is technology and api key also we have to give which let me keep now this i will put it later on and now final uri equal to uri dot https yeah https we have to give and it is asking me the uh, this so this endpoint will go here then there was a path which is which was v2 top head lines top headlines p2 top headlines comma this query parameters we have to pass query parameters then final response equal to a weight client dot get url not uh, url it is a uri so we are getting that then we are going to store it in a map string comma dynamic json equal to json decode response dot body so this is what we are getting as a response now list so list are array in uh, flutter dynamic so the body we are storing here body equal to json with the json which we got and articles and list article articles equal to body dot map so we are mapping through it and getting the articles dynamic item article dot from json 
item dot to to list oh not here so whatever we are receiving back that we have to convert into to list and it will be written articles okay so let me save it okay the uh, api key i have to put it later on so i will now go to my main dot dot and uh, we'll call the api services okay so let me come here and here api service auto import i have done let me see yeah api service have come here client equal to api service okay uh, now we uh, we will uh, uh, do the api call through the as i have told through the future builder widget so let me come here and uh, after our app bar we will do that body is future builder okay Future is client dot get article. So did I auto import it? Okay. Yeah, API services on it is getting okay. Okay, it is auto imported. Okay. Then there will be a comma here and builder builder will be build context context comma async snap shot list article no article snapshot okay and it will be a function okay so did it imported the article uh, with this article is a model actually it should import it okay uh, i will see it if so we'll get the data in the snapshot a snap shot dot has data list article articles equal to snap short dot data okay so let me try to auto import it now yeah models now it is auto imported fine so list uh, we are getting this uh, small warnings which will soon get fixed so articles is a snapshot dot data we are, we will get here and return we are getting it because we have to return a list view list view dot builder yeah builder like this
first it will be item count so it is giving item count articles dot length context comma index list tile title text articles index dot ti title okay so list view builder is done this is a small warning we are getting because semicolons are very important in uh, your flutter okay so this is not yet complete or if snapshot is still here after that we have to return something return center Not build context it is this child sir oh, it is not circular progress indicator so these are all the things are there in flutter so circular progress indicator save it okay we will uh, still we are getting this because see this we will we are getting because uh, we are not getting any data why we are not getting any, any data because see this api key is still this so i will change it and then we, i will come back so i put my api key and uh, you can see all my other data is coming because not the circular progress and data is not running we, we are getting the data so it is say, doing like if snapshot the data then this list view it is showing and all the technical uh, technology news from uh, us we are getting so that we are only showing the title right now so we are showing the title okay so now we'll create a components folder here because we want to show it in a correct way and here custom list tile dot dot i will create and uh, source okay custom this style i will create and uh, it will be a, a, a simple simple widget so so uh, let me copy paste it because there is nothing much i will explain it so material dot it is required then uh, article model i am require required this is a custom list tile in which i will get the article and then container margin padding decorations are there a uh, bit of box shadow this should be like here okay uh, box shadow is there then child child is actually there are some columns and in column there are children so there are two three things are there so first this uh, your image we are getting that article so each of the article is there so we are we first thing is we are showing the image then the sized box which we are seeing this sized box is because we want some gap between them after the image then uh, i'm uh, showing the text the title so it is like this Let's see this container source name the source name will be shown in a circular thing and then after that the title will be shown so let me save it and you can get it from the github means so now even if i turn it is it will not show it because we have to go back to our our main dot dot and see this item builder we are only showing the 
title here so we will not show the title we will show the complete component which we have just created custom list style we will give and articles and we have to pass the index okay custom list styles yeah so it was it got imported also if it is not imported you have to import it manually so let me save it yeah it is coming so it is working fine so our app is already looking very good so all the technological news are coming but uh, see this is what i was telling this source we are get, getting it as a circular thing and then after this the title is the image source title okay so this is like this so let us move ahead yeah and uh, one more thing i wanted to tell uh, which i have felt that uh, sometimes what happens this image doesn't comes from the api and right now it is coming but i have seen this getting broke a lot of time because uh, what i'm doing right now it is directly showing that uh, this article at here but sometimes it is not there so what we will do here this container actually shows our image so we'll go here and article dot url actually i would have also not caught this error because uh, i got this error so this is small bug fixes i want bug fix i want to do so we are using ternary operator so article dot url is not equal to null then i will show this container like this this container and it's giving me error because it needs another one okay one more thing it is not not seeing this intended properly okay it's okay okay like this so again a container so again a container i will show and uh, everything uh, you might have guessed everything will be similar to this so let me better let me copy it okay so double infinity everything is same okay so uh, because it is a technical technology news so instead of this i will take it from the unsplash means unsplash api a random random coding thing random coding image so custom api oh i have to give a code okay so random custom api i will give from unsplash source dot on splash dot com slash weekly coding okay so i'll give from unsplash so we'll not see any difference here because we are getting all the images but if you don't get image then it will fire okay now we will create a article detail space so that will be shown when you click on any of the news so for that inside the lib i will create a uh, pages and inside that articles the details page dot dot i will do so v actually again i am pasting the code because it is again very easy kind of code means uh, there is just an article a stateless widget which uh, a stateless class which have a app bar app bar is article or title so whatever the title will be there it will be there and then again it, it is quite similar to custom list style or dot uh, uh, start and start is there for uh, padding is there a bit of uh, child 
a column is there which has got children so first it will show the image and uh, then the image will be shown and then again we are on doing the same thing article or URL or image because I was getting error previous time here also so after that so first we're showing the image then the sized box so a bit of padding is there then we are showing the source name then again hide box and then after article or description we are showing so this is a different thing which are showing we are not showing the title we are showing the article or description so let me save it and uh, now uh, we'll go to the, this custom tile so in the custom tile we will be this uh, child container is there okay uh, let me do here come here and click on this and wrap it a widget i will do so this so it becomes a child container okay so this widget is known as ink well inkwell so this widget is known as inkwell which uh, we are using because it has a on tap functionality so on tap with on tap we can go there so custom list style anyway custom list style means each one of them it is showing so each one of them which it is showing a single article so inkwell i am go and uh, there I will have a on tap on tap it will be a function and navigator dot push context will be there okay uh, we we will have to have a context also here the UID build context is context or else from where we will get this context so this is good that it gives us this nice errors okay so then we have to give the route and uh, okay so the route will be material page route and the builder is there context article page is there article is article okay now no error is there so we are showing this article so navigated up dot push it will go here and uh, one more thing we have to do here so this custom tile so this build context is so from where build context comes it is already giving me an error so because uh, i have to pass the context here so now the error is gone save it save it I have not yet re reloaded. Let me do a reload once. Okay. So now I will tap on it and I'm going here. So see, uh, you might be wondering why I'm not getting the complete news. So this is a news API. So this, this news is been given by Engadget. So they won't give the complete news or how else they will work. So only even in the description, only this much is coming. So because that is the Engadget news. So you have to go to the Engadget site and read it. So it is working fine. This is the title. It is also coming. Let me go here click here yeah it is coming so you are getting mainly a brief only brief news only so let me go here yeah so it is coming fine coming fine 
so this complete our news api app hope you like this app so please do subscribe to my channel so that i can produce more videos like this thank you